14 artists started the competition, and only three remain, Young, Hemia, and Sarah. For the finale, each artist will create a full gallery exhibit. They have three months and $7,500 to blow the art world away. Young, let's start with you. Making sure it fits over my face. I was an only child, so instead of having brothers and sisters to play with, I had my imagination. I do hope for you that your self-confidence is justified. Yeah, right? <laughs> me too. I'm definitely the favorite coming into this final show. Congratulations, Young. <gasps> Young, you will receive $20,000. Receive $30,000. It's just like raining dollars everywhere. I won. We wanted to talk to each of you before you head home and begin your work for the finale. Yo, when you come back to town, don't bring the PC parade with you. I think sometimes the political work that I make can be a bit preaching to the choir. I'm kind of leaving that all behind for this final show and just really going for the gut. Sarah Jimenez. This is kind of crazy. Being here has been an interesting struggle and dance. Young, we massage my vagina. <laughs> I started off really good. Well, I really love the light, wispy touch. You draw beautifully. And then I had this sort of emotional breakdown. I'm afraid that, like, I didn't do her justice or something. <laughs> and then I had this rebirth in my creative process. Sarah Jimenez, you made a true work of art. Sarah, I really want you to spread your wings. Don't be afraid of any material. It is crazy that I'm going to the finale. It hasn't even hit me yet. Kimia. I always make you very nervous, no? No, I'm just always nervous. I'm a nervous person, and I'm anxious, and I'm emotional. It's like 100% broken now. I keep telling myself, like, if I've made it this far, I can do this. Like, I, I really have every bit of confidence in myself. Kimia, you made a true work of art. <laughs> This win guarantees you a spot in the finale. I will not let you guys down, I promise. Now the artists head back home to begin working on their final gallery shows. I can't wait to see your guys' show. Ah! I know, me too. <laughs> Kimia is going to bring her drawing skills like mad. And Sarah J, she's a complete dark horse. I have no idea what to expect from her. Have your boyfriend for us. I will. <laughs> At stake for the winner, her solo show at the world-famous Brooklyn Museum, a cover story in Blue Canvas magazine, and $100,000 furnished by the 2012 Fiat 500. This is Work of Art, The Next Great Artist. I'm traveling to check on the progress of our three finalists. First, I'm going to visit Young in Chicago, Illinois. How are you? Good to see you. So great to see you. Yeah, welcome to my apartment. This is um, my mother, Susie. Hi. Hello, nice to meet so you. nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you so much. It's my boyfriend, Mark. Hi, nice Mark. Simon. Very nice to meet you. Simon. Nice to meet you. Mark and my mom both know that Simone is a world-class auctioneer, and they know that he's kind of quirky and has an amazing accent. So you're both artists, and um, yeah, you're I, try to, your... I try to create a kind of support Mark's you know creative side more. Like he works as a stock analyst during the day. He calls me a long-term investment. So. Yeah. <laughs> I owe a lot to my mom. Just you I know, kind of my that. cheerleader. I try the that gives him the strength. Try my best. Yes, yes. My mom has been battling cancer for the past few years, and after my dad passed away, she kind of had trouble looking for things in life to keep living for. But I've seen this kind of vitality come back to her, just seeing all of these exciting things that are happening for me, and I think that gives her another reason to just keep fighting her own battles. Did you always realize that your son was very talented? He makes something. Very, you know, something special, mm -hmm. not like other kids. Like his books? <laughs> I wanted to show you my, like, earliest uh, kids' books that I made. Third grade Third or grader. something like that. Yeah. These are hilarious. This is, I have a portrait in here of my mom that I did. <laughs> there's, there's my mom. <laughs> Wonderful. Cute. Bizarre. <laughs> and, uh, I would like to thank you very much for welcoming me here and uh, oh, thank you for coming so now young i'm very very keen to go right. to the studio let's do it Good. all of my ideas are really fleshed out in my head and i'm really excited for him to see what i've been working on so i was very lucky to find this space it's a fantastic uh, space yeah no, it's really amazing basically the main thing that i've been working on 
right now is completing the structure. I imagine that this is going to be this really colorful platform, and the uh, design of it is based on security platforms that they have near the president's house in uh, South Korea. I'm taking this whole thing apart, throwing it in a truck, and then going on a road trip from Chicago to New York and setting up the structure in different locations and we'll be taking large format photographs of it. The final photo I'm planning will be somewhere in front of the Brooklyn Museum. So I'm kind of like stalking the institution that I want to get into. Right now, when I see all these maps and uh, <laughs> uh, these very precise drawings, yeah. uh, for me, it's a little dry. It's a little boring, quite right. frankly. The question is, will there be some emotion which will bring it to another level? You don't want to hear that your work's going to be boring for the final show, especially when it's in Simone's gallery. Tell me about this. What, is this uh, one of your artworks or...? Well, this is something that's also kind of in progress. I'm kind of just playing with my dad's shirts that he left behind and figuring out how that could also turn into a piece. It's like a mini shrine, I guess, um, yes. unintentionally. But um, yeah, and this is my little artist book about the last kind of six months of my dad's life. It just kind of documents all the different friends and family family that visited uh, the prayers that happened in our household. Um, I find this incredibly moving and, and very, very beautifully done. When I lost my parents, it's something that remains ingrained in me forever. If there is any way that you can bring in some of the emotion in this work into the exhibition, because when I see that, I think, wow, you really are a very strong artist. Right now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to incorporate this kind of shrine element and these really personal photographs with this idea of the traveling platform. And I think they're expecting something really fantastic. And if I can't deliver that, you know, I think they're, they're going to be really disappointed. I can't wait to see you in New York. Have a good trip back. Thank you so much. Thanks. At this point, I have a month to get this whole show together somehow. Next, I'm checking on Kimia in Manhattan. Hey, Kimia! <laughs> How are you? Simone! I miss you! How are you? So did Can I. You Can I introduce you to my boyfriend? Yes. This is Devin Yalkin. Simon. Hi, Devin. I'm Pleasure Simon. to meet you. We used to work Great. together. <laughs> you worked together yeah. at one? Yeah, he bartended and I was a waitress at this yeah. Turkish restaurant. Actually. Classic New York love story. Yeah. <laughs> Great, great. Right now I'm a freelance photographer and I bartend as well. I live yeah. with my boyfriend and his parents right now, but at this point we might have overstayed our welcome a little bit, but I don't have any money right now. Uh, has some of the nervousness of Kimia yeah. Yeah. rubbed off on you? <laughs> she's freaking out all the time about, you know, whether or not she's going to be able to do it, but I have a lot of confidence in her. And Tons of support. Every day I wake up and the alarm goes off. He's like, Brooklyn Museum, he'll just say it. I'm like, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, and I'll just jump. But I'll show you some photos if you like. This is my mother. Wow. Yeah, back in Iran. She was a looker. <laughs> you can certainly say that. So sweet. Yeah, these are my parents back in the day. Actually, this is so awful. I should probably take these pictures out. But this is these are the jet skiing pictures that we used to take when we would go out on the lake. My father passed away on this lake, actually. My father passed away in a jet skiing accident, and I was there with him literally right after it happened. It's just tormented me for years, really. I think you would be very proud to know where I was today. Yeah, I can't wait to show you the work. Would you like to go look at it now? Very, very much so. Yeah. I feel confident about the work that I've made so far, but I really would love to have Simone's input. So Simone, this is my studio. Wow. I've been working here every day since we got let out. Every single day? Yeah. This is for the show. I grew up without religion, and I, I have my own set of beliefs that I'm sort of sort of shaping for myself. And so I started thinking about the afterlife and ghosts, and I don't believe that we're here for no reason. It's the main theme. That's my theme. Yeah. I wanted to create these ghost characters that have the armor and to, you know, to go into the afterlife with. This one is a figure that's still in this life that's practicing for the afterlife. So then wow. it goes on to the... Then it goes on to the paintings. Yes. I just loved the idea of going back into the earth and sort of being reborn and reincarnated or something. So how many works are you planning to have at the show? Fifteen. But how many have you done so far? Seven. Seven. I do like some of your works done on that transparent paper. Yes. My favorite work by far is this one. Okay. Uh, I really feel that this is very disturbing mm -hmm. uh, while being very beautiful and very striking. Okay. Now, this is my favorite one. So when we come to your sculpture, I mean, the one this on the left, one. I find horrendous. 
It's the last thing I would ever want to own. It really disturbs me. If I did not know you and I saw that, I thought, wow, this is a strong artist, very accomplished. Mm. And then I see the sculptures and I say, I, what, is that the same person who's done that? Quite frankly, if you want to have 15 works, for me, you have 14 more to do. Simone, I only have one month left and it's just... No, no, listen, <laughs> this is really very, very blunt. I, mean, I, I want the honesty, I can handle it. It's just yes. like knowing no. that maybe all of the work practically is not worthy of, of the show. It's kind of like... No, 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 I did not say that. For it to be like, there's only one good piece in there. I'm really scared that I'm going to completely embarrass myself. You've got it all in you. You are very strong and I think you can do it. Thank you so much. Listen, <laughs> I wish you all the luck and all the inspiration you need. It scares me to think that the judges might agree with him and to know how strong Young and Sarah are is just really nerve-wracking. Coming up on Work of Art. There's one more thing. Oh God, don't let there be another challenge, please. For my last visit, I'm going to Brooklyn, New York to check on how Sarah is doing. Sarah, Sarah how are you? How are wonderful, you? wonderful to see you. you Boyfriend, I presume, yes. <laughs> Hi, Jim. So nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> look around? Yes, I'd love to look around. These are uh, some pictures of me as a little girl. Oh, wonderful. I love that. That's your little brother? Yeah, I have six little brothers. Six little brothers. But, That's uh, fantastic. Yeah. How long have the two of you been together? Close um, to two years. Yeah. We were courting each other for a long time before that. Like, a long, we would long. go on a date and then I would get mad and erase his number or... <laughs> And then eventually we went on this double date and he finally made a move and... A long and intense courtship. Yes. And I'm dying to see what you've been up to these okay. last uh, few weeks. So if we can go to your studio. Okay, let's do it. I am nervous because I know that I've experimented a lot with new materials and I'm not fully confident in how it all works together. Wow, that's a pretty cool studio. thinking about this ritual of confession and Catholicism, which is what I grew up in, and how to tell your sins or your thoughts or feelings to someone else, how that relieves something. I did two performance pieces. I had this on, and I had this around my neck. Yes. Like this. And I had a robe on. Is there any footage of your yeah. performance? I'd love to see it. I handed out paper to people that said, anonymous contemplations, write your thoughts and feelings and let me carry it for you instead. I like that. I think that's very cool. Yes, I think it is quite amusing, this figure wandering around the streets of New York. These are all of the confessions here. I'm a homeless addict. I'm scared for my health because I've shared needles. Hopefully there is some end to this nightmare. Mm -hmm. A lot of the themes were around love, loss. So what I wanted to do was base the exhibition on the experiences I had before me. And then I wanted to do a few sculptural installation pieces that reflected on the confessions that I got. And how many sculptures? Just three installations. I carved out the inside of the bed and I'm planning to fill it up with the rest of these syringes. The web represented love. I was thinking of gluing pieces of my nails and my boyfriend's nails, and like I wanted to glue our parts onto, onto it. it. Yes. And, and uh, tell me more about the sculpture. I wanted to make one piece about like lust, because a lot of people mm -hmm. wrote about that, and so I made these sort of phallic looking shapes. These portraits are people who are watching the performance piece but didn't know that they were actually participating in it. So there are two parts, like the spectator, the witnesses of it, and what the confessions were actually about. I'm so surprised because it is so totally different from anything I've expected from you. I find the portraits very caricatural. Do I love it? Uh, probably not. I'm bored of painting the way I used to. Your main sculpture I don't think is particularly impressive individually with the exception of the spider web and maybe the mattress the works on their own are not that uh, 
inspiring or particularly strong in my view. And there is this disconnect between the sculptural element and your works on paper. And really try and get it to have something coherent, to have something strong and something that can give you the big prize. So go for it. Okay, thank you, Simone. After Simone's visit, I feel nervous and I feel scared. It's just unknown territory and it's overwhelming. Arriving in New York City, I am kind of freaking out a little bit because one of the three of us will win the whole thing and have our lives change. All right. I'm so excited that I'm here for the finale. It would be such a fantastic start to my professional career to like win this. I want to just move on up. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, I can't believe that I've made it this far. I haven't let myself feel how excited I am. It's like I'm afraid to jinx it or something. Yeah, okay, I was like, wait for someone to Seeing Sarah and Young is simultaneously a relief and a huge pit in my stomach. Do you have some crazy outfit planned for the opening? No. I'm what? Dressed. I expected you to come in with some No, crazy. I don't have any more clothes, Mimi. Oh, I'm going to have time to get my eyebrows threaded. Oh, please. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! You look nice and tan. Hello. <laughs> You. Simone's looking good. You know, he probably arrived from his private jet from seeing a Beyonce concert, having dinner with Roger Federer. You know, he just somehow fits it all in. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, China and I greatly look forward to see you at my gallery, Philips de Puri, and we'll have a few more things to tell you. We we're all like thinking, oh God, don't let there be another challenge, please. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you tomorrow. It just is really hitting home that I'm in New York, the center of the art universe. Oh, we're almost there. I see the sign. I know. That I'm doing this huge show at Simone's space. I just get chills thinking about the history of the artists like Warhol and Damien Hirst, just these superstars that have shown on the same walls. OK, let's get to work. <laughs> it's a big deal. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, I've missed you. Hi. <laughs> oh, my god. You guys excited? Yes. Oh, my god. You nervous? Yes. yes. <laughs> The journey is not quite over. You have a lot of work left to do before one of you will be named the winner. That artist will win $100,000 furnished by the 2012 Fiat 500, a cover story in Blue Canvas magazine, and a solo show at the world-renowned Brooklyn Museum. Each of you has his own dedicated section of the gallery to install your work. Amazing. Now, there's one more thing. I've been so impressed by all of you that I've decided to include one work by the winning artist into a major Philips de Puri auction. All the proceeds from the sale will go to the artist. Last year, Abdi Farah's work sold for $20,000. So, I'm sure you're going to do better than that. <laughs> Pretty amazing. It's just, this is such an honor. Like, it's just huge. Tomorrow, guests from all corners of the art world will be here to view your final shows. And one of you will be the winner of Work of Art, The Next Great Artist. I wish you all the best of luck. See you tomorrow. Thank See you tomorrow. You so <laughs> Bye, Simone. Okay. See you guys luck, later. Guys. See you guys later. <laughs> okay. Coming up on Work of Art. Oh my god, it's not the right size. The pedestals are six inches shorter than what they should be. I can't believe this day is here. So far, so good. I mean, ugh. We have until midnight to install our shows. I'm really hoping that the show puts people through the gauntlet of emotions. It's about family, losing someone, and the full circle of going through life and death. We'll need to go a little bit lower. When you step into the tower in the middle of the gallery, 
you see the image of my mother and of my boyfriend looking at you, and they're definitely the two main characters in my lives at this point. Do you mind grabbing the ladder? I'm going to move the projector to the right a bit. My favorite piece is the shrine to my father. It's made from found wood and a lot of his random belongings that were left behind when he passed away. There are some candies that were in his pocket, his chapstick that was in his pants. I think it's a bit of a risk that I'm doing this show that is so personal, but I'm ready to fall on my sword for it. This is my very first solo show, and it's overwhelming. I was thinking on the ceiling so it would project onto this wall here. My exhibition is based on a performance piece where I asked the public to write down their thoughts or feelings or worries. And in the gallery space, people will go throughout the exhibition and see references of those messages. So just to warn you, there's a fishing wire here and right here. After Simone's visit, I've changed probably 80% of my exhibition. I got rid of the watercolors. I made new mixed-media installation pieces that I felt were more my own and matured. Yeah, this is a good length right here. I covered lingerie with this human hair. It's a commentary on promiscuity based on a hair shirt that monks used to wear for penance about sinful thoughts. And I made a full body impression of my dad's skin cells with double-sided tape. It's about death. And I want people to think about how they leave an imprint in the world. It's another art project in and of itself to curate and manage how all of these pieces are going to work harmoniously together. I'm just trying not to prick myself. <gasps> my show is really based around my personal exploration of spirituality through drawing slash painting and sculpture installation. Simone's critique definitely changed my show. Three pieces stayed and the rest of the work is brand new. I just switched gears into working into line drawing on paper and this burial site installation that materializes all these different things that are happening within the two-dimensional work. One of the last pieces I made for this exhibition is a drawing of a boat. About 15 years ago, my father passed away, and it's about this idea of the spirit moving on, but having things like around that are watching after you. So that piece is dedicated to my dad. Oh my god, it's not the right size. Of course this is happening. I'm going to be creating three grave sites, one on each pedestal. And the pedestals are six inches shorter than what they should be. Is there something that can be done? We're gonna go try our best to be creative about the problem. It might still be a problem, but we'll be back. Okay. okay. I'm just worried we're not gonna have enough time. And I'm freaking out. Oh my god. I think Kimia's strength and weakness is her perfectionism around her art. It's an amazing gift, but I think it also can hinder the perspective an artist has on their work. Making this worse. It's like something just kind of got dislodged during the transport. I've been spending so much time just trying to get these projectors worked out. So you guys can go up at least another foot. This is just so much fine tuning. It's driving my controlling nature really crazy. I'm really satisfied with how the crane piece looks. It's about breaking out of confined spaces, whether it's your own mind or relationships. There's a lot more work to be done, but I know all of these pieces are going to work harmoniously together. Cool. My extensions arrive, and lo and behold, they look fantastic. You guys saved me a breakdown, probably. <laughs> the evening is coming toward an end. I think my show feels like the show that I saw in my head. It's a strange show, I think. I don't think it's a show that I've seen before. It's one that's very personal. It feels good. Thank you so much. At the very end of the night, I'm really happy with how my exhibition looks. I feel like I've done a good job at installing and tweaking things. I can already see your show looks great. Very cool. I am blown away. She just made these incredible sculptures that I was not expecting from her. Are these your dad's clothes? These are all of my dad's clothes that he left behind. I check out Young's exhibition and 
I'm not a huge fan of how he installed the shirts. I don't know. I, I wish that they were displayed a little bit differently. I'm gonna oh my god, Kimia. Your drawings are amazing. Thank you. The amount of detail in her drawings, it just seems like she had a year to work on those. So do you want to check out our shows? Sure. <laughs> oh my god. And these are all just journal entries of mine from the past five years. Whoa. Oh, nice. <laughs> This is gonna be tough. Having now seen Young and Sarah's work, I definitely had that oh moment. Oh, the shows are so strong. What does that mean? What does that do? I don't want to think about it. Uh, oh my god. This is like the biggest moment of our lives. You can make whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna invite the whole art world to come see it. <laughs> oh my god. It's pretty incredible to think that today is the biggest day of my art life. I've had exhibitions before, but with a solo show at the Brooklyn Museum, $100,000 on the line. The possibilities for the future right now are amazing. Ready to see the work again? Yes. Oh my god, let's finish this. It's finally a moment for me to just think about my father, which has inspired a lot of the show. I'm very proud of my work, and I think he would be too. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. <laughs>
was the, the China finale outfit. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Looking at the complete exhibition, I feel really proud of myself. It all looks really beautiful. Paper cranes. A lot of secrets escaping. She's using different, you know, different types of materials. That one room yeah. with the birdcage yeah. and the yeah. It's just beautiful. The title of my show is called Pulsajo. That's a Korean word that means phoenix, and it's about my family and about feelings of loss and moving on, basically finding closure. Oh no, it's gonna make me cry. Somebody died. His father. decided right away, okay, I'm not going to do prints. I like the idea that they're projected, so they're just turned on and off. Right. When they're off, they don't exist anymore. This is what came out of just spending time with you guys, you know? Yeah. yeah. You did a nice job. You worked from high. Yeah. I feel that the show that I've put up is very risky, too personal, maybe inaccessible to other people that don't want to experience these emotions, but it's a risk that I wanted to take. My mother was in the hospital for a month before she died. I had no idea. Some of these photos, too, are just beautiful. It's sort of a disconnect. It doesn't see, like, I don't see a connection of the clothing that's on the line to the photos or in any of the photos. I think, you know what's important in these pieces that makes it much more personal, deeper, is the lighting, the setting, straight to the jugular, you know? Really good time. Thank you so much. It's really powerful. It's wonderful to meet you guys. Okay, bye. 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 I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye. The title for my show is Not For Long, My Forlorn. The exhibition showcases symbols and metaphors that relate humanity to spirituality. It really explores burial and the afterlife and spirits and mythological creatures based on those themes as well. It's like a soul rising. Totally, it is, yeah. You shed your life, but that spirit isn't the end of it. I'm not necessarily extrapolating all of that. I love the transparency. I really agree. I like the shadow of the legs on the sail. You know, the handling, the, the whole piece looks great. Do you guys know that piece is about daddy? I feel like my exhibition is better than I was anticipating it to be. I feel like I knew I wanted to do drawing, but I didn't think it would break out to this level. This is a great example of something that is mysterious. Iconic. There are some real decisions being made here. Good luck. I'll yeah. put my witch's hat on <laughs> for you. I mean, I don't see so much of a connection from this work to, I mean, aside from the well, fact that I it's like a burial. The headpiece, and and the headpiece a, for yeah. sure, I think works a lot better. Oh, yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. They're all good. I, I think I like Sarah Jason. You really get a feel for each of the individual's vision. I have a huge respect for these three really artists that really came up with outstanding shows. It's time for our final crit. Young, let's start with you. The title of my show is called Pul Sajo, which is a Korean word for phoenix. And that's what my mom called my dad in the last six months of his life when he was battling cancer. Um, so I kind of created this narrative of sort of that six month period. I have a personal experience that's similar to yours and I found your show to be extremely moving. And I can really feel your love in this work. Thank you. It says something when you can put your personal out there. and I mean, just on the scale that you're putting it out there, I, I mean, I think if you can do this, you can really tackle anything. You're telling a really clear story, but in some ways you don't leave a gap for mystery and that can shut out a viewer. Did you expect that people would interact more with the platform? People are definitely invited to walk up to it if they wanted to see the first images closer up. I thought of stepping up there, but I thought, eh, I better not, because it's really been, you know, finished. Yeah. It's durable. <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. I feel like seeing all the shirts here, it definitely had a sympathetic magic. And I think it was really brave what you brought us here in New York today. Really great job. You know, I really feel that this is bringing me full circle and I can move on to other things now. Thank you very much, Young. Kimia, we'd like to speak to you next. I wanted to create an exploration of my own ideas of spirituality. Really talking about going from one world into the next and passing on. Your work is very serious, and yet it doesn't fall to oh, the psychodrama okay. or the melodrama, and that's pretty remarkable. Thank you. I think the large-scale drawings are the strongest. Uh, personally, the pieces on acetate felt like studies to me and i think it could have been stronger without that what you're disagreeing with me? Oh, no i like that she's playing with other material that things get foggier the more chance comes in there when i walked into the show i realized like you had all this talent there's a comfort in your work and i feel like when you're working in pencil drawing watercolor you know applying these textures it makes sense in the work and it's really well done thank you so much some of the other stuff, I feel like a lot of that's said already in the drawings. Like, it's not even necessary in, to do the sculptures. Yeah. The boat piece is by far, like, my favorite. <laughs> when you go simple like that, it's strong. It's just, it's just like a, a knock, you know? The boat is about my father, who um, passed away. I just had a dream about him that was basically him asking me, what are you doing with yourself? And I said, oh, I want to I wanna build boats. And... <laughs> I woke up and I was bawling my eyes out, of course, but I was like, I don't really know what that means. And I just kept thinking, I really have to honor that visit that I had from him. <laughs> I thought I was going to build an actual boat. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kimia. Thank you, guys. Sarah, let's start your cred. I wanted to create an exhibition based on confessions from people. And um, a lot of people spoke about disconnection and feeling lonely, addiction, lust, and promiscuity. A lot of people wrote about wanting to, you know, am I using my potential? Am I growing enough? And it's funny, I walked outside and somebody was throwing away this giant bird cage. And so I was like, it would be awesome to have like these pristine, um, like a thousand cranes coming out of them, like bursting through the doors. I'm really excited about all the different materials you've taken on. That's the most life I've seen in your work. Opening yourself up to the outer world was fantastic. Marvelous job. Thanks, Jerry. I agree, very ambitious, but I think it was a little disconnected. I just felt like it was kind of a collection of short stories instead of one focused narrative. It was a little scattershot. Okay. I think it's, it's very ambitious that you decided to tackle all these different mediums. The use of just like masking tape, you know, the, the skin graft work, just made it such a better piece. You came into this competition mostly just doing watercolors and drawings, and I'm so proud that you are now experimenting with materials, and it's a great step in the right direction. Thank you, all of you. All three of your shows have a lot of death in them, and this one is very intense, Sarah. Thank you. We have a lot to discuss and a very big decision to make. We will call you back when we have our winner. Thank you. How do you guys feel? All the critiques went so well. Yeah, it like, was, it was really it's interesting. It's good to start criticism. I really have no idea which way it's going to go. No, no. I actually that's don't. The way it's you don't? Whole time. I really don't. Those were three really impressive shows. Some artists really went to their strengths, and other people really surprised me by what they brought to the gallery. Most artists get to develop on their own and to be sort of belting out these personal works to this grand audience that most artists will never never reach. I think, you know, it's definitely admirable. What did we think about Kimia's show? I love the invention she showed with her drawings. There was a level of professionalism in that show. You knew she was really understanding the material she was using, and she was using them in unique ways throughout the show. The headpiece was the strongest sculpture that she made, but the tombs really added weight for me. They could be edited out, though. Uh, I actually liked seeing the change in medium. She's let her strengths take her to whole new places and not trying to control it so much. I just think it's an amazing arc that she's taken. Let's talk about Sarah's show. 
I love that she used different materials. And also just using people that she's meeting to kind of learn about herself. I mean, it must be a great feeling to just be able to write whatever you want to a stranger and walk away. I thought Sarah's show was a little exposition-y. The thread was missing between the sculpture and the drawing and the video and the spider web. But she took a lot of chances. She really extended her work. The materialization of her ideas, all very compelling, all very moving. And I really feel like this is the best she's ever looked to me, and it looked really great. Let's talk about Young's show. It's a fine line between sympathy and sentiment and melodrama. And I think that the emotions seem genuine, heartfelt, and not overstrained. Did you think otherwise? I don't know. I just sometimes I have problems with a deathbed portrait because it's so loaded and we know that person's not here anymore. I, I thought it was more of like a, a taking this man's life and celebrating it. I feel like Young always had a lot of control in his work, and he finally released a little bit. He's really ready to go a long, long way. This was a tough decision, but I think we found our winner. Yeah, definitely. Throughout this competition, we have been inspired and excited by your work but only one of you can be the winner. Sarah, you showed amazing growth over the course of the competition, and the risks that you took in your final show were very impressive. You are not the winner. Thank you. You had strong individual pieces, but your show felt a little disjointed. It feels really painful to come so close and to not win. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. I feel sad and I feel a little angry. I at least wanted to be in the top two. It's down to the two of you. Young, I feel like we saw you being born here as an artist. You got stronger and more articulate every week, and it's really moving and really powerful. Thank you. Kimia, your powers of invention resonated with all of us. Both the scale and the skill of these drawings really brought your show to life. Impressive. Congratulations. Kimia. You're the winner of Work of Art, the next great artist. Second, heard a little bit because I really put myself out there, but I'm not gonna stop. It's not a job, it's not a passion, it's you know a life, and this is my life. Like what? <laughs> this is amazing. I don't know, I don't have any money right now. I have $50 to my name right now, literally. Congratulations again. Thank you so, so, nice so much. It was a really beautiful show. I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. come visit whenever you want. Love that. I feel like my father would be incredibly proud of my show and he's obviously in my thoughts every day i'm in love with making art and i just want to be the most amazing artist ever congratulations go to bravotv.com slash work of art for info on how to own a print from your favorite artist 